In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you set up and send out automatic blog post updates to your email subscribers when using ConvertKit. So I'm logged into my ConvertKit here and it's pretty simple. All I need to do is go up here to automate and over to RSS. And you go up here to add feed. Now, the way this works is if I have a cross, I have my blog here at creatorimpact.com and that's the one that I wanna use. However, I do need my RSS feed. Uh, if you need to know your RSS feed address, but typically it would be your domain slash feed. If not, I will post uh, a link to a post that talks about how to find your RSS feed, but most of the time, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be your domain name slash feed. And the way it works is I can actually just use subject line, I've got title here. You can actually set up something totally uh, custom. You can add in latest blog post or something like that, or you can just leave that as title. But I'm just gonna type in latest. So maybe I wanna preface this with latest post because we've got an option. We can either send a single email out every time a blog post is created, or we can have a digest, which goes out once a week with all of the posts from the previous week, so to speak. So we're gonna look at single to begin with here. And of course, we can just send it out as we want, but you can also type in here your a bit of information. So maybe we want to add in uh, just like some text or like our latest blog post is out. Below, you can click and read about it, enjoy, something like that. So you put a little bit of information there to get, get them started. And at the end, you might say, Thank you for being a loyal subscriber. Regards. Wait, so you can set up a message before and after, maybe something a bit more comprehensive, not sure. And then of course you've got this template here. You can add in bits and pieces, but uh, generally speaking, so at the moment we've got some formatting. I can change the formatting of that. Um, it's got the basics there. I can even start adding in other areas and information if I want to, but it's generally pretty much set up there the way you want it. So published on, so you can put that there, post summary, post title. It's pretty much a standard layout. If I go here to preview, you can see here the email looks like this. Our last blog post is out. You can click to read about it, typo, and it has this information here about the post. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber looks a little bit crazy. Maybe you want to add in a few other pieces. So you can just sort of take your time to decorate the email up a little bit if you want to. Maybe we add a divider here, and then maybe we add another divider here to get that looking the way we want. And again, we go to preview, and now we have a divider here. So you can sort of play it up a little bit and get it looking the way you want. But I'm gonna head back to edit because what we also might do is switch to a digest. So we can send this every, say, Monday, at around 8 a.m. and we're pretty happy with that. And we can send automatically, we do wanna tick that on. And we can also, for all of this here, we can actually set up conditions as to who receives these particular uh, posts. So I've only got one subscriber, because it's a test count, so there's not a lot to change here, but we can add filters in there, such as, you know, when they're subscribed to, what a segment, a country, and that sort of thing. So there is that to sort of further change it up. And that's pretty much that there, but when I set it to multiple blog posts, if I preview, we have now two, three, we have a bunch of blog posts. These are actually all not released within the last week, but it will only produce what hasn't been released since the last email. So you can have that to automatically send out using ConvertKit. Of course, if I go back into edit, and I go in here, I can also add in, say, another divider if I want to. And I preview again. There's now a divider between each post. So you sort of get the idea of how it works. So that's the basics of how it gets set up. Now, when you're ready, you simply click Save. It's currently disabled, but in order to actually have it working, you're gonna click Enable, which this is a free account. Oh, there we go. Enable, save. 
And now if we head back, this post will be digested on Monday and sent automatically. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can set up your uh, ConvertKit account using an RSS feed to automatically email your subscri subscribers when you send out, when you publish a blog post. So you don't have to do it by hand. Uh, but one thing to consider before you set this up is sometimes it's good to actually customize that message talk about the benefits of a blog post in an email before sending them off so while this is automatic and will save you time it may not be the best way to get people to check out your blog posts but it really depends on your preferences so i hope you found that video useful um, if you did please consider giving the video a like and don't forget to check out our other convertkit videos in the playlist mentioned in the description below otherwise have a great day and i hope to speak to you again soon